That was a redfish blow up. Damn, that was a loud blow up. Way over there in the grass line. All right, ladies and gents, I am starting off early in the morning. I just decided to throw up top water and I got destroyed by a nice speckled trout here <laughs> off the bank. That's awesome, man. <laughs> but, oh man, that was a good speck too. Dang, nice. Top water, man. Really love the top water lately, especially with all the speckled trout action we've been getting. And good morning, guys. Welcome back to another awesome episode. So as you saw, I already caught well, kind of caught, 75% caught a nice 16, 17 inch trout on top water. I am fishing a brand new area here in the Brazoria area. Uh, just going to do some exploration, use a variety of lures, see if we can catch some redfish and flounder. I haven't caught a flounder in a while, so that's kind of the targeted species, but also, you know, I'm not biased against redfish and trout, and um, I'm waiting up for my buddy Mark right now, MDLR Fishing. I got here a little bit early at the launch, so I decided to throw a little topwater plug, and lo and behold, I get hit like on the 10th cast. So that's, hopefully that's not bad luck. Hopefully that's good luck and uh, good things to come in the future today. But you guys stay tuned. So glad you can click on this video. Make sure you like and all that good stuff, comment. I'd love to read all your comments, and uh, let's get at it. All right, guys, here we go. Back on the water. Look who we have here. We got MDLR fishing. What's up, man? It's been a long time, buddy. What's been going on? Traffic. That's Traffic? On. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to explore this new marsh, as I said earlier in the intro. See if we can get some redfish and flounder. But uh, I'm going to keep on continuing with the top water. See if we can get a speckled trout bite. We need to go like to Port O'Connor. That's the one thing that I basically stopped doing. It's and traveling. I, I stopped driving to the spots where it's, you know, it's more likely to happen. I mean, let's just face it. I mean, it happens here in Galveston, but not as much. Not as much as like when we drive to Sabine. When you go, go south with yeah, all the grass Connor, flats. Uh, yeah, exactly. Sergeant, not Sergeant. Uh, I mean, even though we've been to Sergeant, I've been to Sergeant only a couple times, but to uh what is it point comfort keller bay you know those areas little gator right there Ooh. let's see if we can catch this gator on top water haha <laughs> he is following it a little dude Oh, he's gone. There. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh! Sh <laughs> what was? <laughs> you gotta laugh at that, bro. Oh, one more time. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna miss this fish, and I can't even cast. That I don't know what that was, bro. Dude, but that, that was probably a mullet that got spooked. That was funny though. That was funny. And now I'm stuck. Oh, that's a red, dude. It's a red. I just saw his back. And get him, bro. I'm getting tangled up like a. Ah, oh, I just backlash. We're idiots, dude. It's like I'm not meant to catch a fish today. I saw his back and everything. That was a red, bro. Look at this fresh water. This might not be good. Super tannic. From all the I recent rains. Alright, we got some we got some juice now on the clickbait. Let's see if that helps out. And yeah, it fing smells like fresh water. Uh -oh. Got you. Nice. Oh, that's a slot. That's gotta be a slot. Good job. Oh, that's a red right there. That's got to be a red. That had to be a red fish right there. Kind of blew up on that surface. Somewhere here. He's hunting down these small little fishes on the shoreline. There we go. There is he. There he is. And he feels like a slot. There he is on the Guggen baits too. I knew I saw that guy on the surface blowing up shrimp or whatever. Bait fish, yeah, he's. I think he's gonna be a lower slot. There he goes. There he goes. 
We got a double hookup, bro. <laughs> yeah, just by him pulling on my drag, he feels like a, a slot. Yeah, he's he is definitely he's gonna be a lower end slot, like I said. A slot nonetheless. I'll take him. Beautiful fish. Wow. <laughs> on the Guggen baits, a 3.3, the smaller one. He is blowing stuff up. <laughs> New spot is paying off for sure. Just got to keep your eyes open with all this new fresh water that's poured into our marshes from the previous days of rain. And there he is. Look at that fish. Come on in here, bud. You're done. Oh, yes. Nice slot. Beautiful golden redfish. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my gosh. Check out that big. That's a football redfish for you guys. And he fought really hard. Look at that Guggenbait just hanging off his side of his mouth like he's the boss. Beautiful fish right there. Small little red dot too, or red dot, black dot. But the other side's pretty big. 23 and a half, 23 and a quarter inch redfish. Nice fella. Big, healthy dude. This is going to be a good eating if I was going to keep him. But we ain't going to keep redfish today, folks. We are just wanting to catch him. And so happy to catch him on the Guggenbaits. Beautiful specimen. Redfish, hard fighters, beautiful fish. There he goes. The going gets tough, man, and I have been throwing top water, I've been throwing bugs. The saucy swimmer right here, the goby color, came through 3.3 inch. Use my discount code RXANGLER, take 15% off your order, and uh, catch big fish in the marsh. There we go. Oh, nice. I know I felt something. He's gonna be a. Uh, a smaller guy. <laughs> he took it right at the boat. <laughs> nice. This is what you call a Louisiana red, guys. Meaning that if we we're in the state of Louisiana, oh yeah, he makes some good, good blackened fillets. Yeah. Easily 17 all day. Possibly maybe 18 if I'm lucky. But well, check that out. That's a beautiful redfish. On the curl tail, once again, curl tail doesn't disappoint. When I'm in a new area, the curl tail is a good search and destroy type bait. If you guys have not picked up your curl tail, make sure you hit, hit up curl tail at Bugs. And give Heath some love. He's a local Houston Houston businessman that supports the angling community very much. So nice, beautiful dude, croaking really hard. Let's let him go. See you later, my man. Woo! There we go. That's a fish. That's. But dang, right at the corner. He's got some pull on him. <laughs> I love the immediate thumbs, man. These redfish make. Yeah, he's not going to be a, I think he's going to be a smaller guy. Yeah, smaller guy. It's still so much fun to fight. <laughs> I don't want to lose my lure. You got it pretty choked in your mouth there. I know. I'm using a net for a small guy. Yeah, yeah. Go and laugh it up, guys. I know, I know. But I just don't want to lose my lure because I'm using a very light leader line. And it can potentially just easily snap oh but look at that redfish pretty dude all right give me my lure back yeah curl tail man curl tail oh my gosh look at that red right there oh there he goes god i spooked him uh he wasn't a he wasn't a slot but uh saw him clear as day through the water <laughs> that's crazy but the back lakes haven't There we go. That's a fish. Yeah, he's a small guy, but still, I'll take him. <laughs> they got a lot of pull, man. I'm telling you what. <laughs> well, I wanted one more redfish. Wanted a slot, but you know what? I'll take a small dude. <laughs> Are you guys laughing at me using the net for small guys, but I don't want to lose my lure. <laughs> Nice little redfish, just blind casting. Man, I've caught maybe about four or five nice rat reds. They fight really, really well with a curl tail all day long. So guys, you need to get yourself a curl tail. This is the new penny color. Works really, really well. See you later, my man. No matter, even if I'm not even using though, cause I have a lot of commenters. Hey, when are you gonna get your, oh, there it is. Small little, look at that red. It's gotta be the smallest red in the world. <laughs> oh man look at that guys cute little guy 
Micro baits catches the micro fish. There's no way around. Hey man, you have a lot of ambition, my friend, and you're gonna grow up to be a big, nice bull red because of the ambition. Well, you have a nice day, okay? Whew, what a great day fishing, folks. A new spot that I located off of Google Maps, a new marsh, and I was able to catch a nice keeper red and a few handful of rat reds uh, using the Bugs Curl Tail. Man, I'm telling you guys, if you guys have not tried the Bugs Curl Tail, I encourage you guys, hit up Bugs. Um, the website is in the description link below. Uh, my, sh my main shout out to my man Heath Hipple for developing such a great uh, redfish lure, flounder lure, trout lure. All It works all over our marsh system here on the Texas Upper Coast. They work, man. I mean, bottom line, you see me catch a lot of fish on my channel using Bugs Fishing Lures. Also, get yourself a nice rod, old 18 suppressor rod, the hollow point rod, whatever. Use my discount code RxAngler20. Once again, say 20% off. Use the same exact rods I use on the channel. The link's in the description down below if you want to directly go to their website, click out on that link, and I encourage you guys, support your local businessmen, especially Heath Hipple and Old 18 Rods. Man, they are located here in the Houston area, North Houston more specifically, and um, they support they support the channel. They support our our angling community here up north or in the Galveston area. Uh, well, all over the Texas coast pretty much, and they love fishing, and you can really see it shine through their products. Google Maps came through, found a new area, was successful. I am going to be back. I need a better condition, I guess per se. There was just too much fresh water there, but I was still able to catch fish. That's that's the main point. I love every single you guys. Enough of me digressing. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.